Hello everyone and welcome to my video. My name is Aaron. I'll be showing you a new Oracle Java flaw that lets remote users execute arbitrary code. So you can, if you want to look into the information about this flaw, you can go to securitytracker.com ID 10 and they'll tell you all about this and how this works. Um, most important you want to look at your reference is the CR the CVE 2013-0422 so we're going to be using this actually uh, through Metasploit I realized that this is actually in Metasploit now when I did an upgrade um, through Backtrack so you might want to uh, copy this or have it to the side when you're using this so open up Backtrack and what you want to do is open a terminal MSF console takes a while to load. I'll pause it for a second. Alright, it's fully loaded here. Let me go ahead and type, you want to type search and then uh, let's do 0422. See if that pops up. Alright, there it is right here. The very first one. So you want to use, you want to copy that. Use command and then paste that. Press enter show options when you don't know what to type next you want to set SRV host to your IP address and see what else is in there I think that's about it for that one alright and then you'll want to go ahead and um, set the payload so show payloads alright in most cases you usually like to use a reverse TCP on the interpreter so let's go ahead and do that right here okay copy that set payload paste press enter show options Set L host as your machine, your backtrack machine. Okay, and then type exploit. All right, it's created the file there. The handler. So you want to open the browser, which I already have it here, and I'll go ahead and show you how this works. Okay, so in my case, uh, I'm using the I use the uh, Microsoft Essentials antivirus. I had to turn it off because it was detecting it and it was blocking. That's good. So that's a way of protection right there. I could tell you. And another way of prevention is just disabling the back, uh, the Java in your web browser if you're really paranoid about it. So um, let's go ahead and type this uh, that we have here on Backtrack. may take a second alright there's a session so now that you see the session over here you can go ahead and type sessions tech I and there's your there's your interpreter so then just to use it sessions tech uh, I one will let you in and then you can type help Then from here you can do screenshot, system info. You can navigate like just like uh, if you were you know there. There's you know files. I'm right you know through this directory right here. I can navigate back, look in uh, my documents if I really wanted to do that. Uh, just you know you guys know understand what Meterper does by now. You should by now. You make directories, download files, upload files view files, write files, you can run other commands, you can run a shell, you can run things in the background, you can uh, set up a back uh, a, uh, backdoor using you know uh, the reg edit or adding your own uh, registry keys things like that so I'm just uh, just showing you you know 
as a uh, you know just to show you as a demonstration on how that works and if you, you guys are paranoid about it just disable your Java in your web browsers um, and then uh, you can also just use your antivirus to just make sure it's turned on and it's up to date alright well I think that's about it guys I hope you found this interesting and very informative I want to thank you for viewing